Hello again. Um, one of the, uh, the commonest questions we get asked is how do I prune my rose? A lot of people are vaguely aware they should be pruning roses but they're not quite sure how to do it. And I just want us to make sure that you're not afraid to have a go because some sort of prune is better than no prune at all. So I'm going to show you the simple way to prune roses, to get rid of that fear, to get stuck in and we'll show you how to feed them as well so that um, this kind of straggly bush that's been um, getting through the winter and is now starting to burst into life. We're going to tap into that, that energy that this new growth is, is kind of evident of. We're going to tap into that energy and the combination of that uh, impetus to grow in the spring and our pruning will encourage lots and lots of new growth. The more new growth you get in the spring, the more flowers you're going to get in the summer. That sounds like good news to me. So overall, we're looking to create almost like a vase shape to this plant, open centered uh, plant so the air can circulate uh, around there and then we're going to be pruning about halfway down the stem, pruning to shoots that are going away from the center of the plant that's going to go out in, in that direction. Um, this one here is a bit more spindly so I'm going to prune quite hard, this is more than half on this one, right down there to get lots of new growth from the base. I don't know if you can see that in the center of this plant we've got this, this stem here. I'm going to be quite drastic. I'm going to take that completely out. There we are. So now you can see we're starting to get that open centre to the, um, to the bush. I'm going to take this little spindly chap out as well. All right, now that's sorted the men from the boys. We've got some, some strong shoots here. I'm going to continue pruning here. There's an outward facing bud. If you can see, I don't know whether you can actually see there with a the camera, we've got a tiny little bud there. Uh, that's right, tread on the plants, mate, don't worry. Uh, you've got a tiny little bud there. That is just waiting to shoot like that one, but that one's going towards the middle of the plant, which we don't want. We want it to come away from the middle. So I'm going to cut back there, and within a few weeks, that'll be, that'll be shooting out. Continuing to go. Another bud there. This is really a very hard prune, but I, I like hard pruning roses. Uh, I think in the long term you get better results there. So another one there. Look at this, this is a real severe haircut, isn't it? <coughs> and at the back here, this is a nice strong stem. This is one that I, was, I pruned back hard last year. And look at that lovely growth that it put on last year. That's the result of a hard prune. You get lots of new growth. So I'm going to cut that back by about half. You know what? We're almost done. The final thing then to combine the energy in the spring in the plant, the pruning encouraging new growth, is to give it a feed then. And this is a high potash feed. This is a, you can get rose foods. Um, this is one actually that can be used on any sort of flowering plant. Potash encourages flowers and it encourages bushy, strong growth. And uh, this, this slow release six month feed will um, uh, keep them feeding it and encouraging those flowers from March, when we're doing the prune, right through until the end of the summer, so that um, that new growth is being sustained by all the nutrients that are locked up in these capsules. So, timing, March, don't be afraid to prune hard, give it a good feed, and get ready for those blooms. Easy. Mm -hmm.